Okay you guys, welcome back to my YouTube. Today, my dad and Lannon are coming over and they are going to cut out the concrete in my atrium and then I'm gonna plant bamboo, really tall bamboo for a privacy screen along the fence and I'm so excited. I've been trying to get my dad to come over and do this for so long, I feel like. And he called me this morning, he was like, I'm coming over, cutting your concrete. And I was like, okay, let's do this. I'm gonna show you the before and after and the process. Okay, disregard the noise right now. There's construction going on across the street. But anyways, so this is all gonna be covered by tall bamboo. So that's the thing about living in a beach house is you don't really get privacy. Gus, no. No, 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 Bad kitty. Hello. Bad kitty. Naughty. What's happening? Wow, everyone's here at one time. It is dusty. <coughs> Cutting into the... So, what's happening? It's only got a hole. Can you put a plant in there? There we go. <laughs> you did it. It's just hard because... What's underneath that? Dirt? What yeah, that? probably sink. What do we have to do? I say we just manhandle the rest of it out. Oh look, it's like super sandy. Super sandy? We're resuming work on the planter for the bamboo. Oh my gosh, it's so loud. They're jackhammering it at the moment. <laughs> they get stuck. Oh, there we go. Yes. Hi, baby. What is that noise? So, looks like we got the jackhammer stuck. Okay, got the hole. Now to get rid of the dirt. Okay, so here is the concrete cutout. The bamboo is planted in there. Here's the finished product. It's gonna grow really tall to cover all this. You can see it already has. <laughs> it already has a little shoot growing right here. It's like the only one um, that's super tall, but it grows really fast. And yeah. So inside here I put volcanic rock. It's very lightweight and I think it looks nice. And there we are. I just watered it, so it's super <laughs> on the water on the back. I'm trying to clean because the concrete made a mess on the ground. Currently working on some speech work, as always. I feel like I'm always doing some speech stuff. I have exciting news. I'm doing my very first solo report next week. So I'm prepping for it right now. I'm kind of nervous, but also very excited. I'm also ready a report, so I'm finishing up all this work, and then I'm gonna head over to Jamie's bridal shower. Congratulations to Jamie and Gavin. You guys, I have been using this stuff for so long, but I just got a refill of their lip sleeping mask, and I cannot stop putting it on. I want to say a quick thank you to Laneige for sponsoring part of today's video. But that has nothing to do with my obsession. I was so excited when they reached out to partner. I'm not lying and not kidding when I say this is the best. I leave it in my purse at all times. It's one of the only things that I can put on my lips at night that does stay all night long. And I just naturally have really dry lips, so this stuff is the bomb. I do want to show you guys a few more of their products. This is their Radiancy Cream. Look at this. So it's a face moisturizer. It is so like lightweight and the vitamin E in it is incredible. And then this is another product that is so great. So this is their water sleeping mask. And if you guys haven't tried it, you have to try it. It's almost like a moisturizer that you just put on last and it locks in everything overnight and you wake up feeling just bright and dewy and glowy. This is one of my favorite products of theirs. Highly recommend, especially if your skin needs some extra hydration. And that is my spiel. And I'm going to finish up some work and then head to the bridal shower. 
topic from what I was just about to say but one of the first times me and Brighton were pictured together for my birthday last year and it was like before we were publicly dating and this paparazzi guy got the worst photos of my family <laughs> this is Landon's photo Sage Michelle Gray everyone <laughs> <laughs> We're like all eating. Oh, those aren't even the best. Anyways, today I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about microblading. So a while ago I got my eyebrows microbladed and I documented the entire process to share with you guys, but I never did because I wanted to wait until I went back for my touch up and until my brows had completely healed to do a little update for you. So here is the process of me getting my brows that are now done, um, microbladed. Okay, so I have this cool opportunity and I'm about to go get my eyebrows microbladed today. I got them done like three years ago. It's like a temporary tattoo type thing. But yeah, so I'm gonna take you guys along the procedure. Stay tuned. So this is Pia, everyone. She's amazing. She's gonna make me beautiful. She is mapping out to find your perfect shape. So when she's in a color, we're looking at your brow hog color and your skin color, and usually your base color in your case. But there's so much more to it, like what's the pigment made of, and how's it gonna age over time? Is it gonna age reddish, or is it gonna age more on the gray-blue side? What I'm using heals and ages neutral, so you'll never be left with any of those like funky tones that we don't want our brows to be. And there's so much that you don't know to ask as mm -hmm. like a consumer coming in. It's like, yes, you want it to match, but how's it gonna age over time? You want something that's your body slowly breaks down and exfoliates out and you touch up over time. You don't want like a tattoo that's so deep in your skin that ages with you because then it just looks not like hair and not realistic. <laughs> <laughs> looks like a tattoo. Looks like a tattoo and nobody wants natural. That. My mom came to Pia as well. Her mom is the cutest person ever on the planet. She is. Yeah. We love you, mom. <laughs> love you, mom. She's doing homework right now. And then I'm gonna check the angles of your tail to make sure they all hit the same place. So this is the, just lines to kind of map it out for you, but they're yep. gonna be a lighter color than this. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, everyone. <laughs> But they are gonna be darker for the first week, right? Yeah, yeah, like tonight, tomorrow. Tomorrow probably being the darkest and boldest, but you cleanse them so they won't ever scab or go through any of that, so it won't be too intense. Okay, yeah. Yay. I'm super cute right now, because I'm numbing my eyebrows. Very glamorous. Okay, so yeah. starting the process, well, process has been started, but I literally feel not one thing. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> done. <laughs> We're done, guys. So this is the pigment just kind of soaking in to those new strokes. Oh. Yeah. They no look so good, though. They're like coming together. Yeah. I feel like I never had... Do I have hair back here? No, yeah. that's, that's new. I love it. I would like sometimes fill in my eyebrow to be a little longer. Yeah, sometimes. you needed it. Oh, they look so good. Okay, just stepping in my car after leaving Forever Ageless and look at these 
brows. I'm loving how she added this extra length. She, she did that because it matched my brow bone. She measured it all out. You guys saw. I'm so excited right now. That was such a good experience. Like, Pia is so sweet. I love Forever Ageless. They're like a great place to go. Highly recommend. And it didn't hurt at all. I could sometimes feel it a little bit, but overall, like so minor. I was in and out in two hours. I'm gonna go back in like six weeks for like a checkup, possible touch up. But besides that, like in a little bit of aftercare, I'm pretty much done. And now I have eyebrows. Yay! That was my microblading update. If you have any questions, let me know below. The thing with microblading that I really like is it's not permanent. So it's a temporary tattoo that'll last a few years. Um, it makes my life so much easier because I don't have to worry about my brows. I do still tint them. Pia told me to get it's called Refect Refecto I don't know. It's on Amazon. It's a brow tint. I use it like once a month and I really like mine. Pia, you did such a good job. And now I'm going to get ready for my day. I'm going to make my bed. I always like to clean up a little bit to start my day. And by the way, my bedding is all's well and it's so comfortable and soft. And this is their duvet cover that I use. I love my sheets and I love my bed. So linking all's well below as well. I love nice clean bedding, but putting the duvet cover on is always such a pain. Oh my gosh, where does it start? Where does it end? to Linda's yoga class at Equinox. I'm so excited. It's my first time. I'm a terrible friend. It's my first time going. You guys, I am an idiot. I don't know why. Who lets their car get down to three miles? Linda! <laughs> Cute little yoga teacher. <laughs> you guys, I was gonna film some of the yoga, but I haven't done yoga in so long, so it's really embarrassing. Okay, so we ate all the chips. And now, and now I'm, I'm so full. Cool. You poor thing. If you want to sponsor me, Dean, please contact my agent. It's me. I'm so full, cool, Lauren. Lauren. I know. What? Why'd you get bare flat? <laughs> so Linda has now brought you that home. Pose. Good. Two. Right. Come up through modified up dog. Inhale. Oh, I heard a crack. <laughs> 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 <la